What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more fighting. Make sure you guys smash the like button, also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing and fighting. Now, I made some videos about it. Shao Sonnen, he's getting ready for his long-awaited grudge match with Tito Ortiz, Bellator 170, maybe a little bit past due. I'm still going to watch it just because of the matchup, and I wanted to see that for quite some time. Better late than never, but never late is better. But link in the description, I've linked to it in the video. TMZ Sports, they did an interview with Shell Sonnen before his fight. They caught up with him, and he thinks that Ronda Rousey should indeed take Floyd Mayweather up on his offer of getting some boxing training. Now, I made a video about this. Floyd Mayweather says, I don't have anything against anybody. He said, if Ronda Rousey, if she's willing to work with me, I'll work with her. And that was also a TMZ interview where they caught up with him. He was in New York promoting a great Showtime card, a boxing card. James DeGale, Jack is his fighter, but do Jack, who's now moving up to light heavyweight. And when I made my video, I told you the same thing. I think she should do it. Shell Sonnen, his was a little bit different. He says, give us something to talk about on TMZ and it'll be good for PR. I'm talking about spend an hour with him and just try to soak up game and be a sponge for an hour and then call it quits. So I think she should, I'm not talking about an hour long session because that would be exactly what Sonnen is talking about. Just PR, you're not gonna learn things that you need to learn in one hour. You know what I mean? So it would really be for publicity to show faces like, I don't know, when the president kisses a baby or something. He don't give a fuck about that baby. He just and kisses it and hands it back or whatever. So I think Ronda Rousey should actually, if not Floyd Jr., Floyd Mayweather Sr., he's a great coach. He had Oscar De La Hoya looking good. Ricky Hatton, well, I think he trained Ricky for the, the Pacquiao fight, but Pacquiao was doing that to everybody. He wasn't necessarily knocking him out like that, like he knocked out Hatton, but he was still a, a whirlwind, a typhoon, if you will, at that time. So I think she should get with either Floyd Sr. or Floyd Jr., Floyd Jr., this is not his first time where he's extended an offer to Ronda Rousey. And it's imperative. Amanda Nunes thinks she can come back. And I'm not one to put a cap on anybody's success and say what someone can or can't do. So I've never said Ronda Rousey cannot come back because, again, that's not me. It's not my life. I don't know her brain. I don't know her mindset. But from the outside looking in, in my honest opinion, it's a long road back to recovery. For one, people feel like they have the style or the blueprint on how to beat you. So to erase that, the only thing you can do is is kind of one, bury the hatchet by maybe rematching. And this is my opinion, rematching one or both of the girls that beat you and Holly Holm moved up a division. So she's fighting, I think, at 145 for a title coming up, right? And you can avenge one of those losses, which is a tough fight because you have to go in there with a psychological disadvantage, knowing that both of those girls pounded you out and, and beat you. And to me, Ronda Rousey looked a bit shell-shocked in the Amanda Nunes fight as soon as she got touched with the hard shot. I think it was a jab. She just looked kind of froze up and deer in headlights. So you have to overcome all of that. And aside from like avenging losses and stuff, I really feel like for Ronda Rousey to have success and, and to kind of erase the doubts that people have about your stand-up game is you would have to look good at the stand-up game. Like a simple arm bar. Like if you, let's say you rematch Holly Holm and put her in an arm bar real quick. That would be good and that would be kind of vindication for you so you can move forward with your career like okay she beat me and i beat her but people would have to see the improvements with your stand-up game like if you hurry up and try to get it to matt i mean that's cool but the blueprint will still be out on you you know what i'm saying unless people seen improvements and the only way in my opinion that those improvements can be done is day in and day out working on that and i don't understand after the home not loss, I don't understand why that was not the game plan with her and Edmund. Ronda Rousey's mom says she doesn't like Edmund and basically is a scumbag and stuff. I don't know. I don't know the relationship. I don't know what he's doing, but it's not working. 
right? So I don't see why that was not the game plan from jump to focus primarily. You're already a master at judo. You went to the Olympics for judo. So why work on what you're already good at as opposed to what you struggle with, right? I really think this is just me, man. I think that Betch Correa and all those Hollywood movies, that was like the that was like the tip of the iceberg or the iceberg that sunk the Titanic. You know what I'm saying? It was smooth sailing up until that. But I, I feel like the fact that she knocked Betch Correa out made it worse because with that and all the movie deals and publicity and like not only was she doing armbar submissions, now she got a knockout and had uh, Betch Correa against the cage and stuff. That really gassed her up. And now she started to, Amanda Nunes said it too. She started to fight and she was like, oh, I'm the real striker. I'm the real striker. She's not. She's not a boxer. I don't know what he's doing, her coach Edmund, and why he's pumping that into her head. But she's good at judo. Stick to what you know. And I think everyone's seen that. And I don't know why that would be the game plan. But back to this whole Ronda Rousey, Floyd Mayweather thing. I don't think it should be a, a PR thing. They can meet up and take pictures. I mean, if you're just going to spend an hour with them or something, something stupid. If you're going to work, then work and work on your craft. And, and like this is obviously it's a it's like jail. She already has two strikes, three strikes, you're out. I mean, if she lo loses in, in that fashion again, then I really don't see her coming back. But I guess right at this point, she's on the brink of possibly having a, a shot at coming back but she has to she can't have any miscalculations in camp she looked like she was in good shape she already knows judo so she has those things down pat but you have to get good with boxing and it's gonna take time so like i said i, I can't say she can't do it i don't know in the mind of a champion can be real strong pacquiao in boxing got knocked out bad twice and he came back to do legendary things. So I don't know, it, it depends on the individual more than anything. But from what I've seen, Ronda Rousey kind of has, it looks like like a false confidence and stuff. Like Conor McGregor, I think he's more confident naturally. Like I, I think he's, he chats some shit, but I think he actually believes some of the stuff he's saying too. Like he believes in his ability and he knows he has power and stuff like that. And I don't know. Uphill battle for Ronda Rousey, but I think she should take Mayweather. And this is the other thing. Mayweather's offering, call his bluff. See if he's really down. Because if you're going to, I don't know how much Ronda Rousey knows about the boxing world. But if you are going to solicit the service of Floyd Mayweather, you better get him before he tries to come back and gets like some kind of Showtime deal, a new fight deal and does a 50th fight and maybe some additional fights. You got to get him now. He's retired. All he's doing is promoting and probably spending time with his family. This is the perfect opportunity for for you to see what it's about and see if he's serious because he's retired. It's not like he has to focus on training or his own training camp, anything like that. So to me, I think she should at the very least check it out. And if, if you hate Floyd or have all this grudge or you feel awkward because you did all that trash talking and how's it feel to get beat by a woman, Floyd? And hey, Floyd, I make more per second than you. Petty, what are you talking about? Why would you talk to the clear cash cow who makes more than anybody in the UFC, right? Like Floyd Mayweather and say you make more money per second when he makes more than you in general. That's stupid. Like, I don't even, I don't even understand that math. You already seen Floyd Mayweather recently son conor mcgregor like man you ain't even worth 25 mil or you ain't how you gonna ask for 25 mil and you worth 2.5 mil on this net worth website and stuff like that so that whole per second thing was stupid but put bygones it's your career you know what i'm saying so she can do whatever she want but i if i were her i would try to bury the hatchet all the media stuff he's at least being cool with you you might want to see what he's talking about because what Shell Sunday did bring up a good point, and this is debatable. He says sometimes the player doesn't transition to the coach or something like that, meaning just because Floyd is a phenomenal boxer doesn't mean he's going to be a great coach. I don't know. Maybe he, he is. I mean, anyone that's, I would give him a shot. If he's that good, 
than somebody who's been boxing their whole life. I'm sure he does have pointers. And he's had various coaches throughout his year. Roger Mayweather, Floyd Sr., I'm sure Jeff Mayweather uh, helped train him at one point. You know what I'm saying? So that's three different voices. And whoever else, his dad was in jail, so maybe he had a different coach then. He was living with some family, some rich dude. So, yeah, I mean, I it's a shot, but it doesn't always work. Like Michael Jordan, legendary basketball player, but he, the team that he has sucks. You know what I'm saying? And he wasn't really good with baseball either. Just a little side note. So it's not a it's not a foregone conclusion that Floyd will be a good trainer. But I mean, is anyone out there believe that he's going to be lesser trainer than Edmund, her current trainer, who doesn't really what is he doing for her? Let me know what you guys think. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video, like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is ego signing off.